Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have done with the modeling of this particular stylish dining table and chair over here. So we have model couches also. And also we have models few of the things for the background over here. So we are not going to model this. Let's start texturing it. So very first of all, let's go into rendering go into the render setup and let's activate the V-Ray rendering over here and I'll make this as HD for now I'll close this let's press M go into the material editor and let's go into the slate material editor so go into the slate material editor And let's take a V-Ray material and I'll just name this as marble. Go into the diffuse, go into the bitmap. I'll go into this and I have few marble textures. Let's just call any marble texture over here. So, if you want to give some tiling, you can assign this tiling. That looks good now. And also with that, let's give some reflection. And let's give a bit of depth to it. So, I'm just assigning this. Now, let's again go into this and select the polygons so before that I'll just ungroup this part so let's select the polygons of it exclude this all <coughs> just select this part go again into the material so I have downloaded one fabric texture so floral texture will be just assigning a floral fabric I'll just rename it so make sure you are renaming the textures uh, correctly over here so let's go into the diffuse go into the bitmap and let's just assign this over here and give a UVW map so I'll just assign a UVW map modifier to fit that so you can even go into this and you can slightly adjust this over here so the same way let's convert to editable poly so select the polygons and I'll just inverse it over here so again I'll go into this let's take a go into the bitmap and let's take a wood texture for this assign it and let's give a UVW map set it as a box so you can definitely assign a wood texture even if you want you can go into this and just increase the number of tiling over here so that looks much better so let's select this and let's assign the same over here let's give the UVW map and into this just increase its height over here so convert to editable poly let's select this polygons over here so select this whole thing select this polygons over here and so I'll just name it as chair 
take again so you can go into this and slightly add a bit of reflection so you can if you want to show it as a polished wood or varnished wood you can definitely increase it over here again let's take a V-ray material go into the bitmap and let's just assign this a fabric set it as a box so and isolate this now looks much much better now so select this and this So now uh, let's assign the same texture over here for this also and let's again give a UVW map, set it as a box, assign the same, set it as a box and slightly increase its height. So now if you want I can just group it or later on we can group this so go into rendering go into render setup go into V-Ray GIA environment and let's see how it looks like all right okay looks good So if you want to add more reflections, you can uh, definitely do it. So convert to uh, editable poly over here. So you can just select this, select this whole thing. So we cannot do it now over here because it is connected. If you try to give chamfer over here, it's going to affect it. So it's better you could have done this a bit uh, prior over here. If you want to go with the chamfering part. So let's again go into the chamfering definitely affecting the interior the inside part so let's just select this and let's select this and slightly if you want you can just assign a chamfer that's it all right so i cannot give the to the inside part because it is connected it is connected over here so i'm not giving the let's just end isolate this so instead of looking it more rough so again I'll go to the top over here I'll just select this and first try to move it okay so I'll just delete this part again I'll select this much of it and let's press shift and make one more copy of it all right that looks much better so the same way if you want to give a uh, chamfer to this we can do that part over here also so you can first select this or you could have done this before like uh, you know if you can do it before that would be much better that's okay so you can just select this whole thing and let's slightly add a chamfer okay 
again you can select this select this all and same way just give a So you can just delete this and press shift and make a copy of it. Looks much better. The same way. Select this, press shift and drag, make a copy of it. So let's just save your file once. So guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my youtube channel. So we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.